In this video, we see the advantages and disadvantages of oral root. As we all know that the oral root is the root of administration in which we give the drug by mouth. So, first of all, we see the advantages of oral root. The first advantage of oral root is that the oral root is most acceptable root by the patients because it is easy to use most convenient most economical and most commonly used root the second is the oral root provides largest surface area for absorption because the drug go into the GIT. The third is oral root is the safest root. How it is safest? Because drugs can be recovered back by some mechanism such as by inducing vomiting or binding to activated charcoal. The oral root does not need any assistance. Oral root can be used for local as well as systemic actions of drugs. The drugs that cause irritation on parenteral administration can be given by this root. And by oral root, large quantity of drugs can be given. Now let's see the disadvantages of oral root. So, one of the most important disadvantage of the oral root, we can say that the oral root is cannot be used in patients with emergency and it also cannot be used in unconscious patient. The rate of absorption is variable and improper depending on the nature of the different drugs. It can cause the irritation of mucosal surface. The drugs that are poorly lipid soluble like neostigmine which is the nervous system drug are not absorbed. In the oral route the drugs undergoing enterohepatic circulation like we can say the example of epinephrine are destroyed because of the enterohepatic circulation. Any pathological condition of GIT can interfere with the absorption of drugs like in case of certain diseases for example we can say the in peptic ulcer okay the drug destroyed by digestive enzymes like in case of insulin or by gastric acidity the drugs are also destroyed like in case of benzyl penicillin so these drugs cannot be given. 